They're off to a 6-0 start, their best start since 1950. Well received by the red and black homecoming crowd here on Myers Quad. They're 4-0 in SEC play, best start since 77, and eight straight wins. That is their fifth longest streak all time. Mark Stoops has been there for nearly a decade now, and he has had as much success over the last half century as any Kentucky coach. And we're delighted to be joined by the head coach of the Wildcats, Mark Stoops, from his team hotel. Mark, Big Blue Madness was last night, but this is the way it should be. The way you guys are playing basketball is the undercard. Football is the main event at the moment. What does the opportunity on a stage like the one you'll have this afternoon mean for your program? Well, it means a great deal for our program. It's hard to get much bigger than this. Uh, you're playing a fantastic team in Georgia on the road, big SEC East battle. So uh, we're very excited about it. It's a great opportunity. Our kids have worked extremely hard this year and for many years, really putting us in a position uh, to play in a game like this. So uh, hopefully we're going to go out there and play well. That's the plan. Mark, ninth year in Lexington, ninth year. It is school that's known for basketball. There are a lot of challenges. And if you look at the history of that program, it's hard to win at the level that you've been able to do that. How? How what's the blueprint? How have you done that there? Well, I think, you know, for us, I mean, you, you know that it's just from a bunch of hard work. I know that goes on so many different levels. Um, you know, but I think, you know, for us, it's a disciplined culture. I mean, everything talks about culture, you know, build a winning culture. For us, it's selecting the right players. But we're being very, very detailed in that. Kirk, I'm sure quite honest, every coach you talk to talks about winning culture, winning culture, winning culture. For us, we're very specific on that, selecting the right players and being specific in that area to make sure the talent level fits with the character and with our team and then developing them. Uh, you know we don't get the four and five star recruits that some of these guys get. We have to be very intentional and very deliberate with the way we develop talent and we work extremely hard and I feel uh, so blessed to have a great staff and, and, a, and a great group of young men that are willing to work and it's been a lot of years coming. So I have to thank all the, the past coaches and the past players because we've worked hard for a lot of years uh, to be put in this situation and we want to continue to go. We want to continue to push. Mark, let's talk about this afternoon, 3.30, big game, obviously, and in nine years, you've played the Alabamas, you've played the great Georgias, the great Floridas. When you go on the road, we saw what happened to Arkansas in the first series. They were out of the game. The crowd took, took them out of the game, and that great defense did. How, what's the formula to win and compete in a game like this in the SEC against one of these big-time programs like Georgia? We have to go out and just play with it. We have to be Kentucky. We can't be anything else. I said that as a head coach. You have to be authentic. You have to be yourself. You have to be believable. We have a good football team. Our players know that. They believe that. We have to go play and be us. We have to be a great version of ourselves. There is no question. You can't be sloppy on the road. You can't have pre-snap penalties. You can't turn the ball over. We've had some of those issues this year, but we've really worked hard the past two, three weeks cleaning a lot of that stuff up. We have to play clean football, but we have to be us. We have to be physical. We have to run the ball. We have to take our play action shots. And defensively, we've got to continue to play. We've been playing the way we've been playing. And we've been playing, you know, fundamentally the right way. We've been playing exceptionally hard. Uh, and we just got to be us. Um, and we don't need to be supermen today. We just need to be uh, the best version of ourselves. Mark, we appreciate your time. Best of luck today. Have a safe trip over here to Athens for a great showdown with the Bulldogs. Always good talking to you guys. Take care. Have a good day. All right, there is Mark Stoops, the head coach of the Wildcats. If he would pull this upset as a more than three touchdown underdog, then we would really have upheaval <laughs> in this season. Now, he mentioned his defense, and they are without another defensive lineman. Octavius Oxendine's out for the season, so they're down a couple of defensive linemen. Georgia's offense hasn't been forced really to score yet because of their great defense. What do you see from the dogs? They haven't. And, and everybody before the season in our preseason talks, we all talked about Stetson Bennett to Lad McConkey, right? That's oh, yeah, we're all over that. Number one in team yeah, in the country. Yeah, yeah, that was going to be the connection. Yep. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.